KR identifier. Um, so that is another very important feature in a relational database and actually in other type of the database. Um, so when we think about the PN identifier, so that basically means that uh, when you have a table in the relational database, uh, you can have one column or you can have a combination of multiple columns together that can distinguish each row in the table. Okay, so for example, in the teacher's table, uh, you can have the uh, GMU email as a key to identify all the professors that in I program. Um, uh, you can have also use other uh, columns or combination of many columns to distinguish uh, all the professors in the I program. Um, there are two types of keys in relational database. Uh, the first one is called primary key. The primary key can be one column or can be a combination of multiple columns. So primary key is used to di distinguish each row in that table. And so that means that the value of the primary key must be unique. So if, if you are using single column, then all the values in that single column must be unique, like our GMU IDs. Uh, if you are using more than one column, then the combination of all the values of those columns should be unique. Okay. And you can have only one primary key in each table because that is kind of the ID of each single table. The value cannot be noun, okay? And cannot be noun, so that means you must have a value. You cannot leave that as a blank. And the value must be unique. And that column is always indexed, okay? So uh, we said we should index um, the columns that we that we make queries most frequently, and the primary key is one that will be always will be automatically indexed. The second type of the key is called foreign key. So foreign key is a key that can you can have a set of one foreign keys. Um, the foreign key can be one column or can be a combination of multiple columns. The foreign key is not used to distinguish the, uh, the records in the, in the current table. Actually, the foreign key is used to refer the primary keys in another table. So for example, this is the teacher table and this is the course table. And on the teacher table, we have email, teacher email, that is primary key. And on the course table, we have the course name and we also have the teacher's name email, so instructor's email. So in this case, that is the primary key, or that is the form key. And this one is a primary key. So the form key is used to refer to the primary key on another table. Okay. So form key, you can have multiple form keys, or you can have zero form key. Okay. So you can have multiple form keys. The form keys can be now. So you can have empty values, um, and you can have duplicated values for the form key. So for the columns that can serve as form keys. Okay. Um, if I use multiple columns as primary key or the form keys, so sometimes they are also called multiple identifiers. Okay. Uh, so all right. Let's see one example. See what we are talking about here. Okay, so let's say here we have two tables. Uh, the first table is talking about people. And uh, so uh, we have the first name, the, pe the people first name, last name, and also the birthday. And also we have the city that where the people is now uh, live, uh, live in that city. Okay, so you can think about that. So for the people, can we use the first name as a prime key? Okay, so answer is not because uh, people may have, uh, some people may have the same names. 
So we cannot use the same name as a prime key. The, for the same reason, we cannot use a last name or birth, birthday as a prime key because people may have duplicated a last name or birthdays. So that's why we have used, we assign each people a unique ID. Okay, so each single people will have a unique ID that will serve as a prime key. And for the same reason that we also have a city table, so we have a name of that city, and we have a zip code of that city, and each city has its unique ID, so that the city column, city ID column will be the prime key. Okay, so in this case, we have two primary keys. One is a people ID for the people on the people table. Another one is the state ID on the state table. So here we have two primary keys. And do we have a foreign key? Yes. So the state ID will be the foreign key on the people's table because it is the foreign key that refers to a primary key on another table. So if we link two tables together and then we have a relationship between those two tables. So foreign key refer to the table that that is linked to another primary key on another table. Okay, so that's the difference between foreign key and also prime key. Okay, uh, so here on the people's table, we are using people ID column as the only one um, primary key. So that is a single identifier. So we can also use, um, let's say the people ID, last name, first name, all three together as a primary key. So instead, if you are using all three columns together as a primary key, which we can, uh, because all three combination of all three will be unique. And then that is called the multiple identifier. So we can also use all three columns together as one prime key. So there is still one prime key. Um, but that prime key is, com is a combination of three um, columns. Okay, so in that case, it is called multiple identifier.